How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing another interview question. Today we're going to go over a question that's on leak code and our question today is called assign cookies. This is America. Don't get you flipping them. Don't get you flipping them. Look what I'm whipping up. This is America. Don't get you okay guys, so today our interview question that we're going to review is called assign cookies. I would tell you who it's asked by, but unfortunately leak code doesn't tell us who it's asked by. So we're just going to do it. I'm assuming it's asked by large companies or just companies that are on leak code anyways, which are pretty large in general. So I think it's a good problem to go over nonetheless. Uh, our problem description says, assume you're an awesome parent and want to give your children some cookies, but you should give each child at most one cookie. Each child I has agreed factor GI, which is the minimum size of a cookie that the child will be content with. And each cookie J has a size S of J. So if J S of J is greater than or equal to G of I, meaning if the size of the cookie J is greater than or equal to the greed factor of I, we can assign the cookie J to the child I and the child will be content. Your goal is to maximize the number of your content children and output the maximum number. As a couple notes, it tells us that you may assume that the greed factor is always positive and you cannot assign more than one cookie to one child. So basically we're given some cookies that have specific sizes and then we're given greed factors of children and we want to match uh, or give really assign cookies such that the size of a cookie is greater than or equal to the greed factor of any child and we want to maximize the number of cookies that we can give away because that will basically give us the most content children. <laughs> so in example one, if we were given the greed factors one, two, and three, and if we were given cookie sizes of one and one, we would only be able to make one child happy, right? Because we can give one, or really a cookie of size one to the child with greed factor one, then we'd be left over, we'd have left over one cookie of size one, but we'd have two children, both with greed factors that are bigger than that size of the cookie. So we'd only have one content child. And that's basically what this explanation tells us. It says you have three children and two cookies. The greed factors of three children are one, two, and three. And even though you have two cookies, since their size is both one, you can only make the child whose greed factor is one content, which makes us output one. Now in example two, if we had greed factors of one and two, and we had sizes of cookies one, two, and three, we'd output two, right? And the reason for that is because we have Right, we could give these two cookies away in this order. We can give one to the child with the greed factor of one. We can give the size two to the child with the greed factor of two. Or we could have given away three and two to two and one, respectively. Uh, so we have a couple different options with how we want to do it. But nonetheless, we have two children, three cookies. The greed factor of two children are one and two. And you have three cookies and their sizes are big enough to gratify all the children. So we need to output two. So that's our problem for today. To solve this, this is actually a greedy approach. So what we want to do is we want to try to give away the largest cookie to the child with the largest greed factor. And the reason for that is because that's what's going to make sure that the most amount of children are happy, right? So the largest cookie naturally should then go to the greediest child. And we are going to try and assign cookies in that manner. So basically we want to try giving the largest cookie to the greediest child. And if that for some reason can't appease that child, well, let's just try and give away that cookie to the next greediest child. So that kind of tells us that we want to greedily, right, know what our uh, largest cookie size is that we have available that we haven't given away. And we also want to know the greediest child that hasn't gotten a cookie yet. And so because of that, we definitely want to sort our arrays. So because G, right, the greed factor and S, the size of each cookie are not sorted, they're not given in any particular order. Uh, to find, let's say, the biggest cookie on any iteration, we'd have to do a linear scan. So let's just eliminate that overhead for both those arrays by sorting them. And then basically what we can do is we can have pointers to point at the largest cookie and a pointer to point at the greediest child. And we could basically make a comparison. If this cookie is big enough to appease this child and make them happy, then we can give them, right, we can give that child that cookie. We can move our pointer uh, down for our uh, size of cookies and we can move our pointer down for the greediest child such that we don't assign uh, cookies that we've already given away and we don't give away we don't consider a child twice either so we could basically try and give away cookies in that manner and if we ever can make a child happy right we could do that assignment we can count that as a number we can increment a count for the number of content children that we have and then let's say for some reason that that isn't actually 
appeasing them, right? Let's say that cookie is not big enough. Well, let's just try and give away this cookie to the next greediest child and see if it makes a difference. So let's get started with our code. That's kind of what we're going to try and do here. So the first thing we said we want to do is just sort our arrays. So I could say arrays.sortg and arrays.sorts. And then we just need a return value, right? And our return value is going to be the count of however many content children we have. So we can say int content children, and this will start at zero. And then we need our pointers, right? We need a pointer i and a pointer j to keep track of the largest cookie and the greediest child. So we'll say int i equals g dot length minus one. So that will point at the greediest child and int j equals s dot length minus one. And that will point at the largest cookie. Now we just want to say while we have a child to consider and while we also have a cookie to give away, let's try and find a child to make happy, right? So we'll say while i is greater than or equal to zero and s, sorry, and j is greater than or equal to zero. So again, that means while we have a child to give a cookie to, and while we have a cookie to give a child, to give to a child, <laughs> we wanna try and give away that cookie, right? So that means that if the size of our cookie, so the size of j is greater than or equal to the greed factor of the ith child, then we can give away that cookie to that child and they will be happy. So we could say content children plus plus, and then we also just want to uh, decrement i and decrement j so that we don't consider, right? We don't give away cookies that we've already assigned and we don't give away a cookie to a child who already has gotten a cookie. And then otherwise, if that cookie is not big enough to appease that child, let's just try going to the next greediest child without, you know, moving our pointer away from that cookie because we haven't given it away. So now when this loop terminates, all we should have to do is return the number of content children that we have. So now let's talk about our runtime and our space complexity. So our runtime is gonna come from the overhead of sorting these two different arrays. And these two different arrays might have different lengths, right? So we wanna take that into account in our runtime. So we could say that our runtime here is gonna be O of N log N plus uh, M log M, right? Because in case the size of the arrays are different, we have to take that into account. So I'd say the space complexity is N log N plus M log N. And then in terms of our, sorry, the runtime, <laughs> In terms of our space complexity, we just have a few different variables, right? So that's gonna be constant space. So you could say the space is constant or O of one. So now let's run this. Let's make sure that it works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve assigned cookies uh, in Java. I hope this was helpful. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, do me a favor and leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Kodak. Oh, no, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, 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 get it, get it.